guys, happy Friday. It's 10 o'clock. We're the kind of people that show up at stores when they open because then it's easier that way. What are we doing right now? Uh, getting school supplies. For? School. <laughs> Specifically? Art. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. So we had uh, Mateo's meet the teacher last night. I have to say, I think it was a lot more nerve wracking for me than it was for him. And I'm trying really hard not to project on my child because y'all know about my experience in middle school. But I mean, he rallied after the, the schedule here in Dallas is so much different than in California or San Diego where we had, depending on what your load was, you had a zero period or a seventh and that was it. So you had zero to six or zero or one to seven periods. And here they have eight periods and they have A days and B days and it's so confusing. So we did sort of like a little trial run last night for Meet the Teacher where they got to go to their schedule, like it was like a fake out. So it was like five minute schedule so they could meet their classes or their teachers, see how far the distance was gonna be. Their passing periods were three minutes long so they kind of got a vibe. And after the first two classes, Parker and his dad were kind of navigating us of where to go. After two maybe two or three classes he was like can I just try myself and we were like oh yeah yeah actually <laughs> that went for me that was a proud mom moment because usually he's very comfortable being guided and told what to do and spoon-fed it's just it's comfortable and I don't blame him but for him to outright tell us like can I just can I just try like moving forward like tell us like find my own classroom and I was like that's my boy so we want to get ahead of it and even though he doesn't need a school supplies for a couple more weeks when they actually start doing artsy stuff we decided we'd venture out since we have a whole week together i told you guys i think last week that or maybe not we were in cancun for a couple of days and so usually we have the kiddos at the beginning of the week and then dad has them at the end of the week but because we were out of town and dad took them to Atlanta for a couple of Braves games they were with dad for a week and now we're we're together for a week so that's exciting so we have them all weekend we have such a busy weekend we're doing school supplies today tomorrow we have two baseball practices we have uh, we're gonna go watch the Ninja Turtles movie the new one we're all gonna dress up like our favorite turtle and um, what else? I just added that last part because Michelangelo is my favorite. And then Sunday we have one of Edema's boys' birthday parties. And we're gonna go to mass again. I think this one really enjoyed going with me. So we're gonna go to mass again on Sunday. I don't know, it's a pretty busy week, but we wanted to bring you guys along. We were like all in the zone. We were getting ready. We left. I was like, oh, my camera. So I got my camera. We we're about to get out of the car to go into Daiso. And I was like, oh, crap. I need to start my vlog. So that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Do you think we're going to find everything here? Nope. No. <sighs> well, not with that attitude. Hey, did, no! you, did you say hello? What are you doing back there? Those are your little old man glasses. He does that thing my dad does. Like puts his glasses on his forehead because he's not supposed to have them on with his device. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go. No. Bad news. Bad news, bad news, bad news. The bad news is Daiso was a bust. Wow, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the good news is we get to go to Five Below. Mm -hmm. We always find a lot of stuff there that we don't need, like whatsoever, but it's fun. But it's cool. So let's go. I'm screaming is because the air is on so 
I've never related to another one of my YouTuber friends as much as Sonia at the moment. I'll link her channel, I'll always talk about her. She's like, I never meet any of you guys, but when I do, I look like garbage. That's me right now. So if you were the beautiful, sweet, amazing panda that said hello to me at the Target on Preston, I didn't even ask her for her name. I was so flustered. We were back to school shopping and these guys were like, did she know you? Oh my God. And the boys have always asked me if I ever meet any of you guys when I'm out and about. And I'm like, yeah, you know, rarely, but not super often. So for them to be there in person, when I met one of you guys, they were like, so thank you. You made my day. <laughs> you gave me cool mom points. We just got done scouring this area from Five Below to Target to Daiso. It was kind of a bust. We found, if we had come to Target from the, from the jump, we would have found everything, right? Mm -hmm. But I mean, I wouldn't have found I wouldn't have found this amazing sweatshirt for $10, right? I know. So we we may have gotten a couple of things that we don't necessarily need, but that's also part of the exciting part of shopping. <laughs> I'm shopping in person. Because when I was thinking, I was like, all right, Mateo, let's sit in front of the computer and we're gonna Amazon everything you need. But I'm like, that's not fun. School starts next week. Let's get out and about, and it was nice because there's not a lot of people out. So if you were the panda that said hi to us, thank you. I am mortified that I didn't even ask you for your name or anything, and I hope I didn't smell like yesterday's news. It was great meeting you, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this guy, chewing gum like a donkey. What's going on over there? What's going on over there? Oh, you know what? You guys are my best resource, always. So, <clears throat> Mateo and his friends love to wear Crocs with socks. I know, mind your business, okay? So apparently, it's the style, it, look, when I was in school, what was in style? If I were to put it on now, I'd be like, what was I thinking? We all have to go through our moments of what was I thinking, and right now it makes them happy. So Crocs with socks. However, the socks have to be crew socks, so not like low, not ankle, like crew socks, normal length, and preferably have well-known food brands on them, like ramen, Kraft macaroni and cheese, sriracha. Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos. But we don't know where to buy those. I mean, with the, with the exception of like going online and spending, what, 13 to $14 on a pair of socks. Which if that's what we gotta do, then we'll get one pair of socks. But I'm like, I wonder if there's anything local, if you know of any stores that have this kind of cool Rizzy stuff for Crocs with socks. Do you know where we can find some? Riz store. The what store? Riz store. The Riz store. Uh, uh, for those of you that don't know what we're talking about, Riz means cool for this generation. So uh, we're looking for, for Rizzy socks. So if you can help us with that, me and the macaroni over here, we'd be very thankful. But anyway, that's it. That's the update for this Friday. Uh, when we get home and unpack our stuff, if there's anything cool that I see that I was like, oh, I should have showed you guys, I'll make sure to show you. Uh, but that's it. That's it, right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. See you later. Go say bye. Bye. Y hasta luego. <laughs> Nos vemos al ratito. You wanna do your little hand thing? Hey guys, so it's one o'clock, we just got home, and if you guys are anything like me, you wanna know where we went and what we bought, because you're curious. My mom would say metiche, I would say inquisitive. Curious, just, you know, I feel like we're all in the same boat here where you go out and run errands and you're like, well, that's kinda cute. Maybe I wanna bring it home. So I was asking you guys about socks and I just so happened to turn off my vlog camera and I was like, you know what, Mackie, before we go home, let me just do a little random Google search. So I think they're especially cool if it's food related, like food labels. There are other ones that are cool as well, but uh, if you have a kiddo that's like a tween, teen, middle school, high school age, and they're in that food brand, 
If you Google socks, they're all like 13, 14 bucks a pair. The cheapest I would say is like maybe 10 bucks a pair. So at Walmart, we found, can I open this? Mm -hmm. Okay, at Walmart, we found these um, six packs for $10. They're socks. They're gonna destroy them anyway because do your kids go outside in socks despite being told not to go outside in socks? Yeah, so do mine. So, like, Crocs and socks, it's totally a thing. Orange crush, you got the green heel. Yeah, my child probably doesn't even know what Yoohoo is, but then I there's, there's you, there's you. Yeah. Hawaiian punch, I know, I know. It's like, you got all the beverages here, all the beverages, so you get six pairs of socks, for 10 bucks. I don't know, you know, for a an, an temporary trend, it's a pretty good deal. I was almost, almost gonna pull the trigger on a six pack for $30 online. I'm glad I waited. I still might, but we'll see if these hold up for us. I almost convinced Mateo like to get these, but it was his idea on his own. And when he reaches these ideas on his own, I'm like, yes, that's, that is my kid. Look how cute these are. You got all the, the Cookie Monsters and the Elmos, which I thought was kind of cute. When I was in, I'm not sure if it was high school or middle school or high school, but Sesame Street became popular again for the older kids. We even had a Sesame Street store at the mall. When it shut down, not okay with it. But look at that. If any of you are ever wondering what my legs look like, this is what they look like when I don't shave. Just like that. Mm -hmm. These are my favorite. It looks very like um, Saved by the Bell, like in the 90s. You remember the intro with all like the little laser holograms? That was like really high tech. We're so fat. I don't know, these are like, these are big. I think they're gonna be like longer than crew, which I've heard is also cool. Yeah, some people wear them to their knees. Look at that. Bert and Ernie. Bert and Ernie and, um, Hold please. I told you guys we're gonna go watch the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles tomorrow, and I'm Michelangelo, so we are the type of family that never misses an opportunity to dress alike, embarrass each other, or just do something out of the ordinary to make something that's fun already like a little more extra. So, because we're gonna go watch Ninja Turtles tomorrow, I figured each of us could wear our favorite turtle, and then, after that, then, you know, Mateo has extra socks <laughs> if he wants them. So obviously, anyone else, like, Mikey's my favorite. Always has been. Yeah, he's I just love he's jacked. <laughs> he's jacked. Look at his thighs. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't know the whole sock was the color. I thought it was just like black and then it had the, the no, mm -mm. So Parker's gonna have to wear this one tomorrow if he's down. If he's down, because obviously Macros Trackers is gonna be Raphael. And little man over here is gonna be Leo, because he's the cool dude. Look at his face. He's like, I'm just happy to be invited. We actually are going with Randers too. So I'm not sure if she's gonna be down for a bullshit because, you know, she's a 16 year old. She's gonna be like, oh, you guys. But if she's down, she can either be Shredder or Splinter. Two old ones. Good or bad? Is she gonna be good or bad? We don't know. She's gonna be like, neither, actually. So we got those, and then Daniel is gonna be in third grade. So for them, it's not so much those kinds of socks, it's more just regular school socks. So he's my little patriot. Have I ever told you guys, can I share the story about what you sing in the shower? <laughs> no, I don't have to. It's fun. Yeah, just do it. So I have a little shower singer, my, my little Daniel, he's eight, and doesn't matter rain or shine, if he's in the shower, there is an American Patriot song going on. It doesn't matter if it's a Star Spangled Banner, or whatever it is, that's, that's how we roll. So we have our little American Snoopy and some <laughs> Galaxy socks, because he needed socks and we were already there. I was like, you know what, I'm not, I'm not doing any more online ordering. Okay, so that's what we got. At, is that all we got at Walmart? It is, right? Yeah, that's all we got at Walmart. Okay, and then we went to, we, we always take our reusable bags. We went to Five Below. That was our first stop, second stop. I told Becky he needed these. Yeah. I'm not sure if these are super 
cool or whatever. I thought they were pretty cool. They're cool. But like Parker and Mateo are definitely Homer and Bart. It's just. We are. That, that's how, remember the little uh, 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 joke he does with you? That's like the Bart Simpson hole. He doesn't do it like for real. It's like a, it's like a, a playful thing. Massager. Yeah, it feels like a massage, but it looks like when Homer's like out and then Bart's like, eh. Anyway, if you watch The Simpsons, you know what's up. I don't know. I, this was like a last minute impulse. I don't need it, but I kind of wanted it because I grew up on, on Nick. Did anyone else grow up on Nick? Yeah. I mean, hello. You guys did not grow up on Nick. Who's this? Oh, he's in uh, the little rascals. Rugrats. The Rugrats. Who's this? He's in another Hey, one. Arnold. You Who's this? Weird dog guy. Stimpy. <laughs> what Who? dog is he in? I can't see. Hold on. I need my glasses. Is that yeah, it's Ren and Stimpy. Is that, is that a worm with big lips? <laughs> anyway, obviously they don't watch Nickelodeon. But I did. So I was like, oh, I really like this color. It's like a soft pastel. You know how I feel about soft pastel. Why are you raising your hand? How about you on Nickelodeon? That's Nick Jr. Sponge, it's different. SpongeBob. Yes, that's similar. Okay. Yeah, I do um, We got a puzzle? Bear. Because Mateo helped me complete Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo. The Frida Kahlo one, we finally did it. And uh, we needed another one. So we got that one. And. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, but his stuff isn't here. You know who your brother is. The minute we get home, he's like, bye. Okay, and then we needed a sketchbook for art. We really like this one. Look how sturdy it is. Five bucks at five below. When we went to Target, they had so many that were very similar. Mateo was like, look, mom, look, mom. Like, oh shoot, we went to two places we didn't need to. But they were like $8 or more. So I was like, okay, cool. Awesome. Not bad. I actually got these two for Randers for bonus baby because She's also going back to school and she's into these little things. She's a Pisces. And then this is like a little pen. The backpack we got her for back to school is just plain black. So I thought it would look cool on that. If she decides to use it. Does anyone else have a child that you buy them stuff all the time and they literally never use it? Like they love it, never use it. So I'm going out on a limb here. Mackie got a few jingle jangles for his backpack as well. Are these for your backpack? Uh-huh. Okay. This one's my favorite. Look at this. Look at this, it's so cute. It's a gummy bear. It's like, it looks like it's radiating, doesn't it? Radiating. Yeah, it's like, is it glowing? No, it's just that bright. So he got that and then these little. Hold on, it goes like that. Look, that's us. And that's his love of Mexican food. All in a keychain. So let me see if I put those. I showed you these. I didn't, I didn't eat this. I didn't eat this either. I did. also didn't eat this. Oh, we got these. I need to talk to you guys about these because I think we're gonna return these. But these are textured stickers, like to put them on your phone case oh, no. or anything you're holding all the time. I thought they were adorable. So they're kind of like those, it's kind of like a fidget sticker almost. I got this magnet because my sweet, sweet, thoughtful boys always make me cards, notes, art, or whatever on their free time, and I put them on the refrigerator. But my magnets are boring. So when I saw Karopi, I was like, why not? Mm -hmm. And then this is a kit, like it's a whole set of 100 vinyl stickers. You guys know vinyl stickers are expensive. Or you can get them on Amazon. The quality's not always there, but you can get like 100 for a couple bucks. But these, it's like a $5, 100 kit but it has all like Hello Kitty and Friends. I wanna see what's in it. Are vinyl stickers like waterproof stickers? Yes, they're oh. waterproof. You can put them on your water bottles and stuff like oh, that. Oh, so that's what, when you look a waterproof sticker, it's vinyl? It's vinyl, always vinyl, because it's it means plastic sticker. Oh. All right, let's hope this is not a big womp womp letdown. Like for example, I don't want this rainbow. <laughs> I have it. Oh, oh, look at this. Uh, definitely want this one. Put them on my phone case. Uh-huh, okay. Oh, look at this one. So handsome. Is it me? He's so handsome and fancy. It is you. It's a bow tie. Yeah. One of you guys left me a comment the other day and reminded me of Peckle. So Peckle is a, another one of the chubby characters. Not Tuxedo Sam. He's like a little chubby duck. He doesn't have like the bow tie or anything, but he is just as cute. Look at how cute this sticker is. 
Oh, you snooping on us? I hear you. Yeah, so look at that, 100. 100 come in here and it was five bucks. So I was like, okay, cool. Stuff we like. I mean, even the boys are fans of a few of these characters, so that's not gonna go to waste. I don't know why I'm rationalizing my spending with you guys. You already know how it happens around here. Yeah, that's Peckle. They don't know, they know who Peckle is. Okay, then we went to, Daiso was our first stop, and this was, ugh, this was kind of disappointing. We honestly thought we were gonna find everything there. We have, this pouch is for Mateo's art supplies. So everything we bought this for his art class, which is the only reason we left the house today, is what's supposed to go in here. And so we got these, but I think these might be more useful. So if I have any art teachers that are watching, oh shit, where are they? Oh, here. If I have any art teachers that are watching for middle school art, I think these might be more useful than these. So we have these from Target, so you can see the bristles. And then we also have these. I mean, they were both $5 kits, but I, know, I don't know, I think these are a little bit too big, but I also don't know what kind of objectives or techniques they're gonna be learning. So we wanted to have some options. Daiso's one of those stores where you really don't wanna walk into it unless you know exactly where your item is so you can walk in and walk out. For example, I didn't need this, but I did because it's an acrylic cube with a clip at the end and it's where I could put a picture or a sticker or a little Polaroid or whatever, but I thought it was really cute because I can put it in my office. I think it was $1.75. That's why you don't walk into Daiso. I ran out of these and Daiso had them and it's easier to just grab it while you're there than like to remember to order it on Amazon, you know? So got some felt, little thingamajiggers. Oh shoot, I said thingamajiggers and I'm like a totally anti saying thingamajig. Mateo needs a pink eraser for art. They literally said pink eraser. And he grabbed this one and I was like, are you sure? Because there's really good ones at Target. And he's like, yes, I'm sure. And I was like, and I have never been more sure in my life that you are my son. Look at that. Pump pump her in. Pink eraser. I'm just worried it's not gonna be a good eraser for art. So, to cover our bases, I got these. If you guys have never tried these erasers, they will erase your deepest, darkest sins. No, but see, you think they're ugly because you see the wrapper on them. It comes uh, off. Mm -hmm. Take the wrapper off, or you could put stickers on the wrapper. Uh, so you're not thinking outside the box here. I'll use the pink ones for outside of art. You can put it in your pencil case. Uh -huh. um, and then just a bunch of little bags that are useful for lunches, when we travel. I know when we traveled just recently, I used a couple for the stuff like when you're traveling from your destination to a really humid tropical place and you're traveling with cleansing balm, like makeup cleansing balm, it will arrive in oil. And so you have to make sure that even though you're traveling with it and it's totally safe and tight tight, and you know screwed on really well, you still gotta put it in a bag or you're gonna regret all your choices. And I was glad I did that. So anyway, I got some more different varieties. These are sunglass cool dudes and then these smaller ones for like, I don't know, medication or band-aids or whatever. And don't, don't, tell, don't, don't tell Parker. I needed this zip pouch because Pachaco. And then I needed this zip pouch because of Pachaco. And then I needed this zip pouch because of Pachaco. There's a theme here. There's a theme. We all know what the theme is. And I'm sorry that this is so long, but some of you are probably enjoying this. Okay, Target. Yay. We got a binder. Boring. So boring. We got slippers. Yeah. So my child, we bought him slippers. Actually, it was in a vlog. If you guys have been watching for the last two or three years, we found Daniel these really cute TY, like beanie baby looking eye, Slippers. Poodle. 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 It was like a little poodle. Rainbow, rainbow poodle. Yeah. No, you don't need to get it. You don't need to get it. It was in the vlog. And this was like four or five shoe sizes ago. Oh he still puts them on because he loves them. And I was like, buddy, I think it's, I think it's time. I think it's time. We upgrade your slipper. But my, no, just, just let it happen. So we got him those. We got some graphite pencils. These are so expensive. Why are graphite pencils so, aren't they just creamier pencils? So he needs these for art, so we got them. And it's just, it's not, this is not exciting. We got some Sharpies. 
Boy. Also for art. Boy. This ruler. Ooh. I mean, he needs a ruler for art. Look at that. It's like a prism. I don't care if he's five hundred pounds. <laughs> I told him I was like, "Look, it's cool, but you're gonna have to carry that around." He's like, "It's fine. It's totally fine." This is awesome. It's an acrylic ruler from Target, store brand. So y'all know what it means when it's store brand. We got a sharpener. You know they can't have electric sharpeners. It has to be like one of these. They're like a dollar, but don't they break really easy? No, I don't have really good experience with these. Stop raising your hand. Oh yeah. <sighs> They just, the, the bottom sometimes just falls down. And all well, you... it falls out because it's full. You gotta empty it. Uh, if you know, you know. Like the pink ones, <clears throat> the pink ones were never good. These were where it's at. And the ones that come out, the same type of eraser, oh, I love those. Okay, we got Mackers a pouch for his stuff because now that he's in middle school, even though they're supposed to have supplies in each one of their classes, you know, kids aren't gonna use what teachers give them. Like, they don't know that like the T Ticonderoga pencils are amazing because they're pencils. They're just yellow pencils. So then they're gonna have their own stuff on their person at all times. Like these. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mechanical pencils. Oh, my brother and I used to love getting new mechanical pencils. And he wanted to get these stickers because dogs and because dogs are cool. And then I said, yeah, because you are my child, and that is all accurate information for his binder. This is for his English class, like English, English language arts class. And then, you know, they needed a chaperone and an Uber and a bank. So the bank needs to get a cute tank top. Am I right? Or am I right? Uh, the last thing that I'm still not sure, I think I might return it. I'm going to try it on and see if I like it or not, but I got an, a pop socket brand phone case that has one of those adjustable pop sockets. So like it's on a band and you can go up or down. I've never used that before. My phone, where is my phone? The phone, the way that I have is just whatever phone case, as long as it's the, um, sorry, did I blind you guys? As long as it has the magnet in the phone case, that's all that matters because I just take this whole piece off, which is also pop socket, and then I just stick it on to the next phone case. Like when I change my phone's outfit, I just take the clear and put it on there. And if I wanna change the pop socket, I just change the pop socket that's on here. Wait, hold on. How many of you are triggered? Cause it's not perfectly lined up, hold on. Just pretend it's straight. Um, and then you can just twist this off and put on, you know, just change the outfit. But this is always going to be clear. I wish this part wasn't white. I don't like that. But, you know, you stop seeing it after a while. But I thought, oh, I've never used this version before with the slidey thing. And I guess the selling point is if you hold it or you do the wireless charging, you can slide the little belt up or down so that it doesn't interfere with charging, mounting, holding, or whatever. And that's it. And now I'm dehydrated. So I don't think I can link most of these things, but things like the socks, the tank top, the... Oh, oh, he's on my little boyfriend. He's so thoughtful. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the assist. So there's some things that I can definitely link for you guys. As long as it's linkable, I'll link it. Otherwise, I'll just list the store we got it from because usually it's the same thing. You go to that store, you could probably find it yourselves. But um, that's it for now. That's it for this Friday. Honestly, I don't think we're doing anything else that's super exciting today. But if we do anything, if we cook anything, or if we go anywhere, you're coming along. You know the deal. This is how we roll. Now we get to put all this fun stuff away. Yay!